Hello Mac Warriors, how's it going? And welcome to another episode of Mac Warrior Online. Today we are playing the Shadowhawk because a lot of people on my stream, on the comment section, asked for more close range builds, for more brawling builds, and for Shadowhawk specifically. So therefore we're gonna take the good old Shadowhawk 2k with three missile hard points, three energy hard points, and we're gonna go into mid today. However guys, before you copy the build, I wanna quickly announce that uh, currently our meta game is very mid to long range um, oriented, and therefore brawling is really difficult. So uh, take the video today with a bit of a grain of salt and um, make your own decision and uh, don't be mad if that doesn't work here because again it's super difficult to pull things out because ppcs dominate right now large lasers uh, ultra auto cannon stuff like that and in order to get close in order to deal your damage you gotta really be sneaky and team up with your friends and then you can have a good time. So, what I want to say here is, uh, we're going to talk about the build and then I will talk about the playstyle a bit. We have uh, three SRM6s with Artemis on the right side also and three medium lasers on the left side also. So our nominal optimal fighting distance is 300 meters roundabout. When you take a look at the SRMs here, they also say it's like 283 total. And um, that means that you got to be like really close to your enemy. So use cover, use um, your team cohesion, use ECM if somebody has it and provides it to you. And if you see an opening, if you see somebody moving in a flank go with them because we can only deal damage when you're close range so don't wait for too long i would say to sit in the early game and do nothing but also don't overstep your boundaries and just rush your enemies and uh, face them head on and then die so timing is super crucial if you want to play something like that you have to have an opening you have to have a flanking position you have to have people with you uh or you have to be unseen and then just pop tart speaking of we have three jump jets and that makes the make actually quite interesting because when you take a look at this year uh, you can see our weapons are basically on the shoulders which means we only need to expose this amount of our mech only the shoulders and, and the upper torso just a little bit so we can jump up in close quarter combat shoot our stuff fall back to safety rinse and repeat kill the enemies we have a pretty good cooldown on those SRMs and they deal quite a good chunk of damage so consider them to be your main weapons and use them as often as possible because that's where your main damage comes from um, other than that we have a 280 rated light engine so that we can lose lose one side also and still operate um, and we are still running 82 kph which is I think good enough for a mech like that I have shaved the arms a little bit so we have not the full arm armor but in general this mech has actually quite good hitboxes so I would say um, use those arms as a shield twist aggressively whenever you have shot your SRMs try to you know toss a twist away from the enemies unless you want to keep track of them where they are going but then the enemies will probably shoot you back but um, I think the um, uh, the hitboxes on the on the sides and on the center are very even which means that uh, you can splash the damage quite nicely and also absorb the damage to your arms. So that's a very big benefit of the Shadowhawk. Other than that, it doesn't have the best mobility in terms of acceleration and deceleration. So making those quick steps is not easy on the Shadowhawk uh, because it's just not capable of, but uh, it is a nice brawler. So take that. We also have some skills. So let's take a look at them here. And as you can see, I put a bit of my skill points into the firepower tree, getting all the missile nodes. I even skipped the laser durations that are easily accessible here. And that's mostly because, again, I consider those missile weapons the main weapons. The lasers are just a little bit of backup. I was going for maximum survivability because we will probably catch a lot of return fire being exposed on the front line. And then we got maximum cool run. We got 60% rated deprivation for the nice defensive capabilities. And then two cool shots as well as a UAV. And obviously the UAV is really helpful when you are in a close quarter scenario and you don't know if you want to come around the corner if you want to push above the hill then just pop that UAV it'll tell you if there are enemies around and how to engage them it'll also tell you where they are facing so keep that in mind and that is the build everybody I wish you all a lot of fun in the two games that are coming now and if you have that as always don't forget to leave a rating subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and now it's time to hit the battlefield Alrighty, first game of the day we are playing the Termaline Desert all right it's gonna be a little bit hot here on this map but I think we can manage we have two cool shots we we have a good chunk of cooling here and at any point I can just not go in and shoot my lasers. By the way, there's a PPC Vapor Eagle and I've seen some people, uh, probably group and or sync dropping, that are probably just gonna go all in with the PPCs here. This is gonna be a hard and tough fight. So I think my... Oh god, that's a Gauss dude as well on the other side. <laughs> Why? My job is to go somewhere oh. where I can actually push them. Light Gauss Rifle Marauder. Alright, good to know. I think it's important to stay together here. And uh, I mean, I cannot engage at long range, sadly. It's not possible. But we can try to dive down here, try to take some cover. Enemies currently have the high ground. And um, I don't want to go in yet. We're going to wait for our assault mags and then we're going to try to figure something out. This is going to be interesting, guys. Uh, who's the Charlie guy? I don't know. There's another guy, Alpha. 
So people I'm talking about are like two to eights here, as you can see. So they have five of them, and I I think they are all PPC Vapor Eagles. I that's what I assume. <laughs> so yeah, here we go. Let's do it. There's a little guy. I'm gonna push forward now. Uh, there's still a Fafnir with some gooses. Hey buddies. So UAV is activated. That's an annihilator. That's a freaking Annie. Let me try to get out of here. <laughs> okay, LB20. Hello, mister. Yeah, that's invisible walls. That's actually good for me. So we can do... What can we do? Hi, Fafnir. That's a thing I can do. I'm out of range for my uh, missiles, though. So let's get Annie. Annie is being engaged. That's great. Annie has LB20s. That's not so great. But maybe we can snatch a kill here. Maybe if we can. Let's try. So right now we're gonna break line of sight. We wait for him to kind of shoot again, which he doesn't do. So we're gonna go in and out. Engage. That hurt. That hurt so much, but Annie is down. Perfect. So, um, turning around. Oh no, wait, we're in a NASCAR, so we gotta go. <laughs> Let's check it out. Light Gauss Rifle's coming from the back still. Okay, we're gonna try to avoid that guy as much as possible, because we cannot fight it. Uh, but there's a Fafnir, which is narked, which is good. So, on the jumps. God, the jump jets are amazing. And now the Fafnir is right in front of me. Okay, let's get him. Center torso, ideally. And it should be a kill. Perfect. So we took a lot of damage already. But I think we are we have the upper hand in terms of kills, but not in positioning. Alright, so we're gonna go back. Because my mech is wow. Crazy. My mech is so damaged already. We cannot go back, we cannot go forth, but the thing is, the sniper is out, and that is beautiful. Turning around now. Alrighty, let's go. Let's go for whatever that is. It's an archer. I'm gonna try to hit him. Archer left side. Right right side, sorry. Alright, well done. That is good. Um, the pressure is too much for me, though. I'm gonna run because team is also running. Are we? I don't know. It's hard to tell. It's really hard to tell right now. So, we are holding this, but there is an artillery strike coming down. Cannot go there because of lasers. It's covered. Um, I guess we have to go in here once more. Let's do it, guys. Uh, pew! And that's a big miss, sadly. I'm also blocked. I cannot pull back anymore. Ah! Uh, Come on, buddy! Ah, oh, that's not good. I wanted to poke in and out, but it was just in and no out anymore. So what about that? It's a dervish. We still have the peeps. We still have the large lasers. We have five kills, so I want to go in. I cannot do it, though. Ah! Panic! Uh, is, that, is that a thing? Are we holding this still? All right, Mr. Wolvie. Please don't blocky block, please. What's that guy? I don't know. Spider? Good. Let's go in, guys. All right, let's do it. Uh, kind of slightly out of range there. But we can try to get that PP. Oh, crap. I came to the wrong spot. I need help. I need help right now. <laughs> We're still alive, funnily enough. Um, sorry, sorry, sorry. Just passing through. Six and four. Still looking alive. So let's get the eagle here. All right, we got him. Nice. Wow, what a fight, guys. What a freaking fight. I'm really trying to be aggressive and defensive at the same time. And I think I need to just find my spot within the team cohesion. And this is where we're just going to get him now. Cool shot is on. What a crazy fight here. We get a kill. We are 10 and 4. And we are actually about to win this fight. So where is the large laser dude? It's that guy. All right. And then there's one more enemy on the board. Echo 5, guys. Uh, it was a wolf hound, I believe. We have a black lander pushing forward. The other guy is there. It's a spider on the left side. Here is the wolfie. And we actually hit him. Is he going to go for me? Probably. So we're gonna twist it. Oh, he knows. He does know. Uh, we have some... Oh, we still have some damage, but we will probably die here. So, will we? Yeah, we will, but that is okay. So, let's see how the game goes to the end. We dealt 650 damage roundabout. We got two killing blows. We won the game, and that was a crazy fight. Man, the pressure was on. Holy crap. But I loved every single second of it, because it was a real challenge here. So let's take a look here. What did we get? We got 3 KMDDs, we got 8 assists, that was a messy brawl, sorry for the team damage. But we got 600 and around about 50 out, with 3 components destroyed. And that was the first round, everybody. So let's go over to the next one and see how this will go down. Alrighty, second game of the day. We are playing the Crimson Strait. We are playing Dominomin Nomination. And I think my plan is gonna be, uh, first of all, getting on the high ground, seeing what's coming up there. Maybe somebody is going up the ramp. And later on, I think I want to go to the tunnel because we need close quarter combat scenarios and we're gonna get it down there. So let's see what we can pull off here. First of all, um, we need to stick to the team uh, because um, if they are enemies, if they are enemies coming over to this, wait a second, um, to this spot here, to the Delta 5 area, 
here. Um, they might peek over and I don't want to be the first one to be there to get hit. So I'd rather stick with my with my big guys here. Also, there is one flea already in the circle. So well done, flea. Also, it tells us there is nobody in the circle right now because the timer is ticking for us, which means I can actually do what I want to do. And that is going to the Delta 5 spot. Still nobody there. Wow, we have a benefit of what, 20 seconds already? 21? Are you even there, enemies? What is your game plan? What is your battle plan? It could be that they are actually going over the saddle, ignoring the center, but that doesn't make sense in domination. So domination really forces the fight into one direction. Now the timer has stopped. That means that now enemies have actually entered the circle. They seem to be pretty slow or seem to not care. I don't know. It's either of those. We're going to go for night vision here because it helps us seeing 600 meters on that edge. Okay, got it. And this is again the ramp that I want to cover. Ooh, this is beautiful. I'm going to drop down instantly. All right, here we go. Zippity zip. Whoop. So, we know that we have people in the tunnel. Okay, I want to contest that. Oh, it's a dire wolf. <laughs> oh, he was just mildly out of range. Oh, no. Oh, he was at 300 meters. I have 283. Oh, no, that's not good. But we have some, some follow-up here. We have a crabbo. We have some other people. If those guys are coming out... That's a lot of firepower. You gonna go, Crabbo? You gonna do it? Sand plays? What are you running? Oh, Kid Fox is coming as well, so that's nice. You know, let me peek again. Alright, let's go. Cool. So we took minimal return fire. We got one burst of SRMs out. King Crab is now going in. Double AC-20. You pull back, that's okay. I'm gonna go in. Alright. So we're gonna try to protect our friends somehow. Because that King Crab is absolutely crucial for our game plan down here. So I'm gonna peek again. Not good, not good, not good. It's too much. Guys, we need more help on the tunnel. There are a bunch of people pushing us. Can you come? Okay, let's go for heat vision. It's easier to see that way. Let's peek out, peek in. Get the Fafnir, come on. Let's do it. India is almost down. All right, let's do it. Oh, we got him. Nice. And then there is an Atlas. All right. So this peeking thing is actually working. Oh, bad, 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 bad. King Crab is pushing. King Crab is pulling back. It's fine. I'm going to go in. We're going to do a nice cascade of mechs here. Way too long exposure time, but okay. We got two kills already in this scenario. All right, let's do it. Are we? Yeah, Corsair, Bravo, right side. Let's go. Oh, there's, a, there's the Dire Wolf. This time we actually hit him, but still. Okay, we're going to try to take that side torso of the Dire Wolf. And yeah, they are just running now. Perfect. Let's go. King Crab is pushing in. Here we go. Beautiful. And another kill. And uh, honestly, I like that he's getting it. He deserves it so uh, much. Many in the so, do we push through? We're going to peek out. We're going to bring that UAV up. And then we're going to see. Uh, again, we need to support that King Crab. He is going to be our meat shield. So, oh, Kid Fox did the UAV thing. So, that means that we can peek around mm -hmm. here. No problem. And we're going to go in the backs of those guys. Cannot see that. Uh, it's a... Let's get, let's get out of here. Uh... There's a waka. There's a thing that shoots us in the back. And that's bad because now we are pinned. Uh, let's go for that guy. Is that my side torso gun? No, it's not. Alright, we're still alive. But we need Mama King Crab here. So, let's try... Honestly, Mama King Crab is down. And I'm gonna pull back. We need more people. We need more people. This whole flank collapsed. You guys on the high ground, can you help us please? We are fighting down here. Oh, man. I'm sorry, but I had to disengage. There was no way I could go. Uh, my left side is about to pop, and if I pushed through, I would have lost that, and then with that, basically, a lot of my firepower, heat management, and so on. What are you guys doing here? You're trading with enemies on the island, or what? Come on! We need you right here in the fight. Anyway, we got a um, consolidated front again. That is what we need in order to survive and in order to keep fighting. So, we made the long way around. Sorry for the hit, but that's okay. So, yeah. Pushing in. Eight and four, guys. Let's do it. Okay, let's do it. Ah, oh, that was a bad shot. Keep pushing, guys. Keep pushing. Come on, come on, come on. We need you now. All right. We used the Waka. The Waka will probably tear me apart. But let's see. I'm gonna wait. Let's play it rather safely here. Okay. So, in and out. Bit of peeking. <laughs> the other way around. Let's see. We can probably hit the Bush Waka yet again. Not the greatest shot in the world, but it was a shot. And I want to stay engaged, and I want to get that guy. Ah, he's out. All right, here we go. Getting the Waka. There we go. Oh, that's bad. Leave my side torso alone. Hit my legs instead. Never mind. So there goes that. So we lost 
that side. Uh, the Marauder is also down, and that's Locked exactly that what we needed. The push from the team above, or below, you know, from the other side. Now, what is the what is the last guy? Is there an actual sniper on the island? Where? Up there! I wish I had some... <laughs> I wish I had some lasers now. I only have those missiles, which are not um, long range enough. Okay, we need the roughly 300 meters. Not gonna come in, right? Maybe? Maybe if he drops. Ah, never mind. He was about to. And he's even falling down. <laughs> Alright, GG guys. That was good. I like the, the pace with the King Crab here. The Kid Fox as a support, uh, us as a damage dealer and harasser, and the King Crab as the tank. That was a very nice team there. Sorry that it collapsed on that flank because, you know, we were missing the support from the rest of the team. But anyway, we made a lot happen down there in the tunnel. We got two killing blows, seven assists. We got one kill most damage dealt, 588 damage done, 360 taken, with four components destroyed. And I want to quickly shout out to my King Crab buddy, Sandblaze. God, oh, really? Oh, man. I, I was hoping that he would have gotten more. Hmm, whatever. We got a Mad Cat with a lot of damage here. Probably the one that was shooting um, in, the, in the bottom here. But anyway, guys, that has been your daily dose for today. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, then don't forget to leave a rating. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I hope to see you guys next time. Goodbye.